Good morning, grade eights. Today we're going to have a look at ratios. Right, in mathematics, a ratio indicates how many times one number contains another. For example, if there are seven bananas and six oranges in a fruit bowl. Okay, so as you can count, there's seven bananas, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's six oranges in a fruit bowl. So you can indicate this or you can represent this as a ratio. So seven to the ratio, six. For every seven bananas, there are six oranges. All right, so you can write it up as bananas to the ratio oranges is seven to six. What would be the ratio for oranges to bananas? That would be 6 to 7. And what if we ask you, what is the ratio of the bananas to the total fruit in the fruit bowl? So the bananas are 7. And to the total ratio of fruit, or what, are the total, what is the total number of fruit in that fruit basket? There's 13. 7 plus 6 is 13 in total. So you can write it up as 7 to the ratio 13. Okay, writing ratios in their simplest form. We're going to go through a few examples just, just to show you what to do when they ask you what question with relating to um, ratios. Okay, so Jack earns 24,000, Susan earns 12,000, and Ruby earns 16,000 rand. Write their salaries up as a ratio to each other in its simplest form. So very important, with the ratios, you always have to give your answer in the simplest form. Okay, so how you do that is um, you're going to write them up in order that it was given. Jack to Susan to Ruby, 24,000 to 12,000 to 16,000. So immediately, can you see that you can eliminate three zeros from each number there to make it drastically smaller without going to divide each one with a certain number and going again and dividing again? Okay, um, then, all right, so what is left? There's 24 to the ratio 12 to the ratio 16. Now, each of those numbers are even numbers, so I can easily divide them by 2, which gives me 12 to the ratio 6 to the ratio 8. And again, they're even numbers, so I can divide them again by 2. And that leaves me with 6 to the ratio 3 to the ratio 4. And that is its simplest form. All right. Um, if you only have two uh, ratios that you have to um, uh, write in its simplest form, the easiest way to do that is you put... Um, you put it into your calculator. So if it is 12 to the ratio 16, you put it in as a fraction, 12 over 16 or 12 divided by 16, press your equal button and it will give you the simplest form on your calculator. So you can also enter it as a fraction into your calculator. Okay, let's have a look at another example, dividing numbers into a given ratio. The ratio of boys to girls in a class is 3 to 2. If there's 25 students all together in the class, how many boys are there? Now, with this, where they ask you, um, we'll do another one after this, where you see, if I say to you, if so many boys are there, how many girls are there? So with all of these type of questions with a ratio, first things first is you want to write up your ratio, boys to girls, it's three to two. Then your next step is to calculate or to get the total number of parts that you are dealing with. So all you do is you say three parts boys and two parts girls. So three plus two is five parts all together then. Okay, so you add the ratios together, three plus two, and that would give you five. Now to work out the boys, you will say, the boys are three out of the total parts, so three out of five of the 25 are boys, and of is a time sign. So three divided by five times 25 gives you 15 boys. Let's just pretend they also ask for the girls. Then you would say for the girls, it's two out of the five of the 25, and that gives you 10 girls. Right, let's have a look at another example. The ratio of boys to girls in a school is 4 to 3. 
So if there are 240 girls, how many boys are there in the school? And with this one, it's actually quite easy because you don't have to add the parts together. You're going to use the pirate method. Okay, so you write up boys to girls is 4 to 3. Underneath the girls, you go and put 240. And then you know what to do from there with the pirate method. You say 240 divided by 3 times by 4. And that gives you 320 boys. Another question they could have asked is, how many students are there then in the school? And then you would have just said 320 plus the 240, and that's the total number of students. Okay, another example. Inheritance of 350,000 must be shared between three brothers in the ratio 2 to 2 to 3. Calculate how much or how much each person must receive. Okay, so now they didn't tell you the one person got this much. Um, they say to you basically divide 350,000 into the ratio 2 to 2 to 3. The first thing that we have to do is we have to add up all the ratio parts together. So 2 plus 2 is 4 plus another 3 gives you 7 parts all together. So person number 1, he got 2 parts. 2 out of the 7 parts of the 350,000. Okay, so 2 divided by 7 times 350,000 gives you a 100,000. Same with person 2. He also got 2 parts. 2 parts out of the total 7 parts um, also gave you 100,000. And person 3, maybe he was the favorite, so he got 3 parts. 3 out of the 7 times the 350,000 gives you 150,000. At the end, what you can do to just make sure is add all your answers together and it should give you the total part of inheritance again of 350,000. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Maybe this um, illustrates it a little bit better for you, all the different parts, why we have to add them together. Um, the instructions on a cool drink mixer says that to mix the cool drink syrup with water in a ratio 1 to 4, meaning one part syrup or cool drink, however you want to say it, with every four parts of water. So calculate how many milliliters of water and how many milliliters of syrup is needed to make a large quantity of 5 liters. Okay, so you want to make 5 liters of cool drink, but they ask you very carefully, have a look. They say, how many milliliters of each do you need? So if you think of 5 liters, how many milliliters in a liter? A thousand. So 5,000 milliliters. That is what you want to make. All right, so let's have a look. Let's uh, represent that as our glass. And then we've got one part syrup with one two, three, four parts water. Okay, so sorry, let's think of that as a huge container because we want to make five liters of it. So one part syrup with every four parts of water. So if you add it all together to make a total full can full of um, uh, juice or uh, a cool drink that you are making, can you see that it's one, two, three, four, five parts all together? And that that is why it's very important to add your ratio parts together to give you the totality of all the parts together. Okay, so um, five parts all together like we counted. So for the syrup, the syrup was one out of the five parts times, remember we said five liters is 5,000 milliliters. So we need a thousand milliliters or one liter if you want to of syrup. And with that, with the water, we need four out of the five parts of the 5,000 milliliters of the five liters. And that gives you 4,000 milliliters or four liters. But because they asked you to write it up in milliliters, um, that is why I've given it in milliliters. And remember, all together, it should give you the total part that you want to make or the total quantity you want to make. And that is five liters, which is also equivalent to 5,000 milliliters. Okay, I hope you understand why we add all the parts together to get the total number of parts in that, um, uh, in that given situation. And then you say, okay, but this person gets so many parts, that person gets so many parts, and you work it out as a part of the total. And then there is your homework. Okay, it is on page 13. 
the it's actually basically number one to ten, leaving out number three. All right, um, please go do your homework. Go and try these sums. You might say, oh, it's easy. And once you get into the exam or into the cycle test, um, you might struggle. Okay, so please try and practice this. The memo is also attached to today's to-do list. And please mark your work afterwards. You must have a super duper 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 super day. Thanks, grade eight. Cheerio.